Okay, so now finally Apple's universal control for the Mac and iPad is here. For that you need macOS Monterey 12.3 and iPadOS 15.4. Otherwise it won't work. And it's an awesome feature, almost magical. First be sure that it's activated on your iPad in the settings, in the AirDrop handoff settings on your iPad. And then in the display settings on your Mac. From there you go into universal control and check all three marks and then you are good to go. You can also go into display settings from there and check that you have both the iPad and Mac display visible. And you can also drag and drop uh, the iPad display to the left of the Mac display or to the right of the Mac display. And as I said it's almost magical. It works flawlessly and very very fast. I think that depends on how good Wi you have in your home but for me it's very fast and you see almost no lag at all so now I don't need any airdrop between my iPad and Mac anymore because I can now just drag and drop files between my iPad and Mac it works great and also you can use for example LumaFusion that I use a lot on my iPad to drag and drop media between the Mac and iPad. Please note then when you need to drop files to your iPad you need to drop them in the files app on your iPad. So when you're using a file from your Mac and drop it into your iPad you need to have the files app open. Or of course other apps that support the kind of file you are dragging. So in my example here LumaFusion I can drag images or videos or audio into LumaFusion. I believe that universal control will be very useful. You can have your iPad always at the side of your Mac display and have it for some apps that works better on the iPad than on the Mac for example. You can have uh, iMessage open all the time on your iPad for example and when you need to answer a message in iMessage you just use the same Mac keyboard and mouse or touchpad to be able to answer directly in iMessage app on your iPad. That is just an example you can use it for any app you like. The cool thing with this is that uh, every time you drag over your Mac keyboard and uh, Mac mouse or touchpad to the iPad you use use iPadOS and every time you go back to your Mac you use macOS so you have two different operating system on each display so you can have one operating system in, in one display and another operating system in the other display. I think that works awesome and you have a lot of cool stuff you can do with that feature. So all in all I'm very happy with the new universal control. I can highly recommend trying it out if you have an iPad and a Mac. Okay, bye.